to Barak Mitsubishi. My name is Josh and today we're doing a walk around video of this MY20 Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross Exceed. Now it is feature packed and a beautiful vehicle so let me walk you around show you the features you actually get in this vehicle. I do apologize if I missed anything but starting from the front the Eclipse Cross has that the iconic diamond shield look sorry dynamic shield look in that front that is that front grille there and it is an incredible look nice sharp lines all the way through the front of this vehicle and you have got a chrome front grille with the chrome mitsubishi badging right in the middle there front parking sensors along the front are going to help you when you are parking and being the exceed model you do get a multi around view monitor so 360 camera where the front camera is just in your front grille there so very very well designed you've also got nice sharp headlights and the daytime running lamp, when it is turned on, does look very elegant. It does help you be seen in uh, low light or uh, uh, glary conditions as well. You've got the fog lights and indicators just built into that front bar there as well. Now, coming along this side of the vehicle, as you can see, the Eclipse Cross does get a lot of sharp curves and edges through it making it a very aerodynamic design. So it does glide through the air, reduces a lot of the wind noise and resistance, and also gives you great fuel economy. It does also give it a beautiful sporty look. Now, that first alloy wheel, very, very nice design on the wheels as well. So chrome and black kind of look to it, multi-spoke design, and it does add a whole lot of personality to the vehicle, and it does complement the angles of the, the car as well. Now. Being the XC, you do get keyless entry, which means when you press the button on the door, it will lock your car and fold in the mirror. So that's a great way to just remember that your car is actually locked. When you press the button again, it will unfold the mirrors and let you hop in. Now, if we come around to the driver's side, as you can see, the Exceed model does get your full leather interior with the beautiful orange stitching along your seat. You have also got the electric seat controls just on the side of that driver's seat there. Now the design of the Eclipse Cross is to make it very easy to get in and out of the car. So as you can probably tell, the seat does sit quite close to the edge of the vehicle, which means you're not going to be scuffing this up too much when you get in and out. If you wanted a scuff guard, however, we can supply one as part of our accessories. Now down the bottom here as well, on the door you will notice the mud guard is actually on the door that does maximize the amount of space inside the cabin closing that back up the back windows in the eclipse cross are actually privacy glass so if you would like the added benefit of the window tint and the protective film on the back and matched premium window tint on the front please do speak to us about it especially coming up to summer now if we open this up and have a look in the back the back door actually does open up a full 90 degrees which is awesome you get very easy access to the back seat and something i love about the back seat design in the eclipse cross is uh, if you can see it in the camera the seat actually slides forwards and backwards on a rail if you needed to make more space in the back of the vehicle that does also fold almost flat, so it is really easy to uh, create more space if you need it. Close that back up. We'll keep making our way along to the back of the vehicle now. Probably my favorite di design in any of the Mitsubishi vehicles at the moment is actually that split back windshield. So the tail light does go straight through the middle of that windshield, sorry, the tail light goes straight through the middle of that windshield and it does give you extra visibility. So having a second glass is always better than just one and it will help you see a lot better. now. The reverse camera is just built in under the tailgate there and you have got reverse parking sensors on the back as well to help you park. Now, in the back, as you can see, plenty of space in the back here. You've also got the cargo blind which if you pull that close it will help you keep everything in the back nice and private. Underneath the floor they have given you a space saver spare just to save you a little bit of space and you've also got all your jack and tools just under there too close that back up and as you can see on the back here just before we keep moving the rear spoiler does hide that rear wiper under there as well so it does keep the aerodynamics of the vehicle nice and sharp now if we make our way along the passenger side the fuel filler cap is on the passenger side and you can fill it up on just your standard 91 as we pan around the vehicle you can see it is a very very well designed car the side mirrors the side cameras for the around view monitor are just underneath the uh, wing mirrors so um, that is where it gives you the extra visibility and helps you when you are parking as you can see it is a beautiful vehicle awesome value and what I would highly recommend you do is speak to us about the glass coat which is going to give you a lifetime warranty on the paintwork we're going to talk to you about it anyway later so uh, 
For now, what we're going to do is actually pop the bonnet and have a look at the engine. Under the bonnet now, what we have is a 1.5 litre turbo petrol engine. Now, don't get me wrong, even though it is a turbo vehicle, the turbo in these cars is actually built to give you a good takeoff and then keep your fuel consumption very low once you are up and running. The design of the engine bay, as you can see, it has got that three-point strut brace just on top there. Picture a cardboard box, if you push it over, it is going to bend, however, that three-point strut brace is pretty much built to hold your chassis in place when you are taking corners and give you the extra control you need. Now, this is a very, very safe car, which is always good to know, especially if you are buying it as a family car or as your first or new car. Now, ANCAP safety rating is five stars. It's got seven airbags. The power output from the engine is 110 kilowatts with 250 newton meters of torque. The petrol fuel tank, even though it is turbo, you can actually just fill it up with your basic 91 if you want. Uh, the capacity is 63 litres, giving you a combined fuel consumption of an amazing 7.3 litres per 100 and an average fuel distance, depending, of course, on your driving style, is about 863 kilometres from a full tank. Taking a look inside the Eclipse Cross now, on the driver's side door here, you do get the toggles for your power mirrors. Now, there is a button there that actually lets you fold them in, but they do that anyway when you lock the car. Now on the door itself, you do get all your power window controls. They are all automatic up and down. Above that is your central locking and your window lock. On the right hand side here, there are a few buttons for your MyTech safety systems. Now if you want more information on any of the systems, please do ask us about it because we can go into as much detail as you need. There is your forward collision mitigation button there. You've also got your lane departure warning and your stability control. Below that, there's a few blank buttons and your parking sonar. Now, there are three very special buttons in the Eclipse Cross Exceed. Have a look just up here above the steering wheel. There is actually a pop-up heads-up display. So a little glass display that will display your speed and any warnings as well when you are driving. So it is a very, very nice design. Keeps your eyes on the road and you don't have to look away to know what you are doing. On the right-hand stalky, you've got your fog lights, your indicators, as well as your dusk sensing headlights and automatic high beams. On the left hand side here you've got your washer and rain sensing wipers as well. Now if you just leave them in auto, when you put the car into reverse while it's raining, it will actually activate the rear uh, wiper as well. The steering wheel is a very nice leather wrapped steering wheel with two paddle shifters behind it if you did want to switch through your gears manually. On the right hand side you've got your cruise control and the button at the bottom here is to change the distance of your adaptive cruise. On the left hand side you've got all your media controls and a button that looks like a battery which does give you your multi around view monitor, so 360 camera. If you have a look in the center display here now you can see you do get a very nice camera. So that's your bird's eye view, you press it again, it does give you the front left wheel to help you when you are parallel parking. and. When you pop it into reverse, that actually switches to, to the reverse camera rather than just the front. Turning that off now, the touchscreen display is very easy to use. However, I'm going to show you a different way to use it later. In terms of features though, you do get the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, or if you prefer your basic radio, you have got FM radio and digital radio as well. Down the bottom here now, you have got the dual zone climate control. So Passenger and driver both get their own temperature controls and if you have a very picky passenger they can just change their temperature themselves. Now but below that again there is some storage so if you did want to keep your phone in there while it's plugged in you have got the option plus a 12 volt socket and the shifter when you bring it down into drive you can drive it as a standard auto or bump it to the left into sports mode. Switch through your gears with the shift paddles or with the shifter itself. Heated seat functions are just next to that and as I mentioned earlier, the different way to use the head unit is with this little trackpad here, so very, very well designed. Now, it's a feature that Mitsubishi is not afraid to admit they have borrowed from Lexus, designed from the Lexus um, vehicles. It is a very easy system to use and makes navigating through your head unit and your entertainment systems very, very easy. Behind here you've got your electric park brake and your auto hold. So if you come to a stop at a traffic light, the auto hold will just hold you in place until you press the accelerator. So you can just take your foot off the brake if you are at a light for a very, very long time. Just in the center here, you have got two cup holders. You've also got a nice leather wrap center console with a tray on top if you did want to keep some sunglasses uh, while you are driving. Now if we pan up to the roof quickly, you will see that you do get a double sunroof so the first one does have a sunshade and it opens up as well 
in the back you do just get the sunshade so it is awesome especially if you want to let some light in on a beautiful day like today guys as comfortable as it is in this car what we're going to do now is just jump outside and wrap up the video thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch the walk around video of this beautiful eclipse cross as you can see it is a very very beautiful car being a mitsubishi dealership and considering how much you are actually saving on the vehicle you might want to invest in some accessories so do ask us about the range of genuine accessories we have available for this vehicle we've been more than happy to package something up for you the other thing i would highly recommend is ask us about the glass coat because that is going to give you a lifetime warranty on your paintwork with a lifetime warranty on this beautiful color why would you not want to take advantage of it now the other thing is if you are planning on keeping the car for a long time ask us about the platinum one plan it will add an extra five years on top of your existing new car warranty up to 200,000 kilometers of cover nationwide protection with our platinum no roadside assistance and much much more it is an awesome way to keep your car protected keep it covered and make sure that it is running years and years and years from now uh, the last thing just before I go is you need to check out our Google reviews we are sitting on 4.8 stars with over a thousand reviews from customers all over the country so it is proof that you are dealing with a good dealership buying a good quality vehicle and we like to look after our customers and make sure that you are comfortable from start to finish so if you have any questions at all guys the number to dial is 9907055 my name is Josh and thank you so much for watching